This race recap is brought to you by RBR Machine, a quality precision machine shop. Steve, I made one of those all-time screw-ups. I left the starting line in high gear. I can't believe I did it. My car was weird acting. I went out there and uh, just did everything wrong, pedaled it, hit it, but I seen he was in trouble. I recovered it, reached down and shifted it in high gear, and I was in high gear. I got to apologize to my guys because they worked hard, and I I screwed it up, and, and the Lord just let us pull that one right out of the bag. Well, you've got to reprieve as you go to the semifinals. Uh, you'll never do that again, probably. Oh, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes before this thing's over, but... That's a, that's a killer, to be that dumb. It's dumb, it's, it's, it's the pressure. When I got in the glue box, the car was sideways coming out and I had to pedal it, so I thought, well, I'll leave it in high gear and try to do another dry with it to save from wearing the clutch. And when I backed up, my whole program changed and I never thought to put it back in low. And it was just one of those dumb things. Seems dumb to me it takes a heck of a guy to admit it. <laughs> I'm a heck of a guy. Okay, John Ford. Indeed, there is something special about a man who could win 150 national events. On Sunday afternoon of the Magic Dry NHRA Northwest Nationals, outside of Seattle, 16-time NHRA Funny Car Champion John Force snagged a milestone and a special kind of victory. The 16-time champion beat Ron Caps to score a milestone 150th NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series victory, his first since winning Denver last year. Winning 150 races will make a man act a little bit out of the ordinary, as if there's any ordinary with force. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Come here! The best, right here. This is the raw the motion of John Forrest don't pouring tell you out. Don't screw you up. I've been screwed up for 25 races, and God, I'm glad that monkey's gone. Where is that monkey? I love that monkey now. But the words hey, flowing like a river, and we apologize if some of those uh, hit you the wrong direction. But that's John Forrest, and Jamie Howe is right there at ground zero with him. Good luck with this, Jamie. And Ron Katz is the one that put the winner hat on his head. 150 wins right for John lips. Force. Right on the I lips for it. Ron Katz. John, how do you explain the success that you've been able to enjoy? Because I surround myself with the greatest people, uh, the greatest sponsors with Peak and Auto Club and Chevrolet and, and Advanced Auto Parts and CarQuest and, 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 of course, Montana Brand. I've got a young kid coming here right now. But what I've done is sur taken their money and bought the best people. Karate, Brian Karate, my son-in-law, Daniel Hood, and Fabrizi in this team got me this win. And I've been struggling, but there's a lot of other guys that have got me this win. So I just want to say, I want to say to all the guys that were part of 150, you're all part of my life. But I want to tell you, Austin Coyle, I love you. You stood by me, called me every week, said I was screwed up, but I could still drive. God bless you, you and Bernie Fedeli. We finally made it. It's 150, and I'm over the... On the other end of the force spectrum, Rookie of the Year candidate Austin Proc didn't have to wait nearly as long to win his first national event as the boss did. It took John Force eight years and 13 finals to get his first. For Proc, it only took 16 races to score his first professional drag racing victory. For Austin Proc, he grew up around the sport. Austin, how does this moment compare to what you imagined? Oh, I can't even believe it right now. I'm in total shock. I look like an idiot up, the, up there. Torrance double balled me, and, you know, I, did, I was just rookie move. But uh, we got her done when it's your day. It's your day. God bless. Uh, I went to church this morning, and they said it's going to be a blessed day, and it was. Oh, unbelievable. Congratulations. <laughs> For pro stock driver Matt Hartford, there was no time like Seattle to change a tradition. Headed into the event, Hartford had never beat the winningest active pro stock racer in head-to-head -head competition. That streak ended Sunday, as Hartford not only beat Anderson, but also denied the multi-time series champion the opportunity to sweep the Western Swing. The victory was the first one this season for Hartford and second of his career. As Matt Hartford collects his first Wally of 2019, the sixth different winner in Pro Stock to do it on a whole shot. How much more special is that? You know, I told Greg down here when you interviewed us that I was going to leave on him. I don't think I outran him, but uh, we're taking the Wally home. And uh, this is for everybody at Rottler, but uh, more importantly, all my crew. I couldn't do it without him. You know, last time we won, my wife wasn't here with us. She's been here working her butt off all weekend. But uh, th this Wally right here... Uh, it's awesome. You know, this is home track for CIP1. Chris is my partner on the car. I, it's just everybody. Rob's, Kenny Koretsky, everybody at Total Seal. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Jason Curry, Larry, the hose connection. Just to 
four final rounds and finally close it this year. It's awesome. You did it. Congratulations. Thank you. The Beast on Two Wheels, the Mickey Thompson Top Fuel Harleys were back in competition this weekend. And for Doug Vansel, he was the baddest beast of them all, scoring win number two this season aboard the Vance and Hines entry, stopping Randall Andreas. There was a full complement of Lucas Oil Sportsman Drag Racing on tap in Seattle. Headlining the winners, first we take a look at Top Alcohol Dragster, where it was Sean Cowie and his slowest pass of the weekend when he had to pedal early in the run, yet still strong enough to beat Russ Parker and win his 16th national event Wally. Top Alcohol Funny Car Racer Chris Marshall also expanded his NHRA National Event Trophy collection to three as he took down Doug Gordon. Sunday's victory was the second of the season. When you're hot, you're hot. And for the last three years at Pacific Raceways, Brian Hirestay and his G-Dragster have been just that. All it took was a better reaction and a hard run from his Volkswagen-powered Dragster to hold off Doug Lambeck for the Comp Eliminator win. Evidently, Kyle Rizzoli wasn't done with winning after last week's NHRA Sonoma Nationals. Rizzoli made it two in a row with his big block Camaro, winning the Superstock title in Seattle over Tom Gaynor. Sometimes drag racing can be a matter of inches, and, well, unfortunately, it was 10 inches, which kept Rizzoli from scoring a double up. Instead, it was the F-Stock Automatic Camaro of Andy Morris fending off Rizzoli at the stripe and grabbing the stock Eliminator Wally. There was a bit of family tradition going on in Super Comp, and in this case, well, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. As second-generation drag racer Randy Beck scored his second Seattle crown by running nearly dead on and stopping James Warden. Beck is the son of past NHRA Top Fuel champion Gary Beck. Talk about close races. In Supergas, Michael Dalrymple used a quicker reaction time to his advantage and played the strike to his liking, and by five inches, stopped Rod Souza for the win. Jeff Havens joined the first-time Winners Club in Seattle as he took on the top dragster title when Thomas Fair went red by a mere two thousandths of a second. Doug Bracey was also hot winning the top sportsman title, picking up his third career win over a too-quick Sean Herbst in the final. Closing out the winners, it was a battle of Black Novas, and in his street-driven 70 model, Matt Hillman picked up his first career Super Street Wally, beating Chris Cannon Jr. on a whole shot. The NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series takes a weekend off before heading to Brainerd International Raceway for the Lucas NHRA Nationals in Brainerd, Minnesota. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play. This is Kathy Fisher reporting for Competition Plus TV.